How's it going everyone? It's Brandon with Attack of the Fanboy, providing a guide for the Delver boss fight. So, got ourselves a little beastie here, Nanobot. He has three separate phases, and the first phase is relatively simple. You can directional parry a lot of his attacks, so do like a 1-2-3 swing typically. As you notice, I'm not exactly the best at it, but it's not exactly the hardest attack, rota the hardest attack rotation to mitigate. So if you're good at the blocks, you can just wait for his three attacks, get four to stagger him, as you can see in the UI, and deal some massive damage. Otherwise, just target his unarmored limbs, usually his legs, and go from there. Because otherwise, he's just going to do that attack pattern, and he's going to delve underground as he is now. And as you saw, strafing usually does the job. And if you don't feel like dodging out of the way of this leap on the third one, you can just block it and mitigate most of the damage. And as you can see, I'm cycling through trying to get back to his legs. If that's one downfall to the mouse and keyboard, when you're blocking, sometimes it'll change the limb you're targeting. Fun fact. So outside of that, this phase is just going to rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. I took quite a while at this stage, for whatever reason. Although in previous attempts, I kind of barreled through it. Maybe be more cautious. Now, as a tip leading into the next phase, you may want injectors for nanites. Or at least nanite-resistant gear. Because he's going to stack a lot of that towards you. Especially in later phases. And Nanite, when it builds up, just does a burst of damage to you. Not a slow crawl, just a straight up chunk of damage out of your health. Which, depending on where you're at in the fight, can be remarkably lethal or open you up to lethal damage. Now, as you can see, I do have my drone. I do have a couple injectables going for defense and stamina and strength. Probably not the wisest pick at the time. Other than that, the first phase, as you see, he was going to come up, he's going to swipe. He will charge on occasion. You can actually moderately block that if you have heavy armor and heavy uh, amounts of stamina. Because then you can usually shrug a lot of that off. If you're doing a more nimble build, I'd recommend just getting out of the way of that. Otherwise, he'll do a lot of heavy damage to you. So we should be moving on to the second phase here soon. When he's done stomping the crap out of me. There we go. So yep. Yeah, now he's going to charge up, his arms are going to be armored, his legs will still be vulnerable, he's going to be pretty much pouncing around this whole phase. He's going to be more of a pain in the ass. This is the phase where you really want to use your drone ammunition to see if you can kind of break things and stagger him, or at least peel away at his health and give yourself a little breathing room. But yes, he's more aggressive here, and he's going to be a lot harder to block. That said, he's also, here in a moment, going to leap into the air and start doing something a little different than burrowing. He will do a lot more lunging attacks, so if you want to, baiting him towards the walls isn't a bad idea. So here's this. He's gonna fly in the air, he's, he's immune. Like, I tried shooting him, shouldn't have done it. He's immune during this phase. On the third leap, he's gonna come in like that towards the wall, he's heavily staggered. It's a good time to get close to a wall, try and bait him there, and hit him. Now, something I did not know during this fight at the time, but good to know for all of you. During that phase, those crystals that land on the ground, you can easily just strafe to avoid them, but... Any that are still standing when he gets out of his stagger will heal him. And you saw all the clusters kind of run towards him when he uh, picked himself back up. I did not know that at the time, and it definitely slows this phase down. But otherwise, if you do see those on the ground, they only take like a hit, two hits, and they pop. Other than that, you have seen pretty much everything that is to this phase of the fight. He's just going to keep repeating his quicker swipes. He's going to charge at you. He's going to jump in the air go for three, and again, those little crystals, which I should have been breaking, and there they are with the heal. Saw his health went right back up. I have a bad habit of tunnel vision, so there's the stagger, and then off you go. So if you notice on the next phase, too, he's lost one of the stagger counts in the UI up there by his health, so he does become easier to stagger as the fight progresses. So if you're a big directional blocker, you're going to find him being more vulnerable more frequently as you play through the fight. Other than that, the nanites aren't as big of a deal in this phase where the injector is going to come in it is here in the third phase, which we're about to transition to as soon as he lands. A good time for a dash attack, which I did not do. As you saw, big heals. He was very close to going down, and he got about, what, a bar? A full bar and a half. So... Lessons learned from me to you. Whenever I manage to punch him again. Yep, a little bit of a stagger there. And here comes the final phase. Here's where he's going to be 
at his most dangerous. So not only do you have to worry about the nanites he's going to drop on top of himself, but now his legs are armored. Now, the easiest way to go about it is break a leg, make it vulnerable, and at that point you can do the damage you need to do. He is going to roll at you like that, and it's easier to dodge to your left or your right to get out of the way, and he'll be slightly vulnerable getting up. Also, if he charges a nanite weapon on his hands, you can break those to save and give yourself some breathing room. But I'd recommend go ahead and stick to his legs, break the arms as needed, or you can pull a Brandon and ignore it completely, because sometimes you're just not a very intelligent person. Also, this fifth phase is where his stagger actually comes back up. So I do retract that statement. It goes back down for the third phase. The second phase, it comes back up to five now in this phase, but he's also swiping at you more frequently. As you can see, I am just sitting here eating the nanites as much as I can, but my armor thankfully mitigates it. About to pop. Yep. I get all that damage. But otherwise, he's going to do a lot of slams, a little directional attack that's going to come out. As you can see, the nanites are still on the ground. You don't want to stand in those. So I'm going to try and maybe bait him away, if able. But wherever he slides, wherever he goes, there will be nanites. Other than that, that's the extent of this fight. I'll go ahead and leave you guys to the footage. Thanks for listening to me ramble, and I hope you tune in for the next one.